Okay, hello there. Um, I wanted to say hello and um, talk about beliefs for a moment. Um, what is a belief? A good question. A belief is a combination of words thoughts, accumulated into a sentence that is now a belief that identity is within. So without identity, it's really hard to have beliefs. Um, I suppose you can believe something in the moment or take a position on a situation in a moment, but without identity, it doesn't string through time. It doesn't hold any inherent value. Like, I believe that it is always this way. So without identity, it's really hard to hold a belief in time. So a belief is held up by identity, you could say. What is identity? Identity is a belief, ultimately. It's a position in which I take myself to be, and it's accumulation of multiple beliefs, memories, storylines, right? And a belief is a part of a storyline. So we can approach by saying, what do I believe about this experience right now? What do I believe about myself right now? What do I believe about this video or Violet right now? What am I believing about this? So there's a experience happening that's mysterious experience. And then there is reflection in mind of the experience that's that says i'm violet trying to explain something right now or sharing something on youtube right now sharing something to you right now so that's the reflection and that reflection can become a belief if there's an identity to hold it up as a belief to be ultimately true so a belief with identity intertwined in it has an inherent uh, has a sense or a feel of inherent truth to it so i don't believe that i'm somebody called violet that's trying to explain something to you right now and yet my reflective mind can have that reflection so there's the reflection part of experience and then there's a direct experience that is just sounds words, visual field, sensory expression that is quite mysterious, that I don't really know why it's happening or not happening or what's going on. But when I take the reflection to be the actual, the truth of the experience, that means there's a believing the reflection and only a sense of identity can believe, can hold belief. So hopefully that's clear context for you. So what if in this moment, I don't believe the thoughts, the reflection of it? What happens when I don't believe the reflection that my mind is creating of this moment, of this experience now. And you can ask yourself that. What if I don't believe the reflection, the thoughts, the story about this moment, about this experience right now? What am I when I don't believe the story about this moment, about this experience right now.
And anything with words is a reflection, is a story. So what are we when we don't believe it? What is here when it's not believed? It can't be answered with words. There's like a quality experience happening that by orienting to it through asking this question can become more palpable of a energetic experiential quality. What am I when I don't believe anything that my thoughts can say about this moment, about this experience, about myself, about others, about this? What am I when I don't believe my thoughts right now in this moment? None of them, not even the thoughts that say this feels good or this makes sense or I know what she's talking about. What am I when I don't believe any of those thoughts? I know what this means. What am I when I don't believe that? And so there is a really powerful um, worksheet that's created by Byron Katie, and I'm gonna link it below because it's really helpful and powerful when our identity is, is intertwined in beliefs. And so you can write a belief down and ask, is it true, yes or no? And can you absolutely know that is true, yes or no? And then how do you react? What happens when you believe that thought, that belief? What emotions arise when you believe that thought? What images of past and future do you see when you believe that thought? How do you treat yourself and others when you believe that thought? And I recommend doing it, this worksheet really slow. It's called One Belief at a Time Worksheet, which is really beautiful. I love that title for it. Um, doing it really slow, like what am I believing right in this moment about this experience? Write it down. Is it true, yes or no? Can I absolutely know that it is true, yes or no? And before question one or one, is it true? And two, can I absolutely know it is true? Before question one and two, I would highly recommend just closing your eyes, feeling into your experience and repeating the belief out loud, giving some space in between each time that you repeat it to just really see when you repeat that belief out loud, what happens in your body? How does your body respond? So I would do this like three to five times, repeating the belief out loud and really feeling into what happens in your experience when you say that out loud. Because often when a belief is just something is, that is in the confines of our mind and not in the manifested experience of the sensory reality, when we can manifest it here, when we can give it a space to be here, then we can explore it in a different way. It has more space to show what it is. Um, and then what emotions arise when you believe that thought? So same thing, like repeating it out loud and really seeing like what emotions arise in my body when I believe it, when I say it out loud, when I give my attention towards it. What happens in my mind? Do images of my past, of my trauma, of my childhood, do they arise? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, how do I treat myself and others when I believe that belief, when I believe that thought? And really slowing down with this worksheet and really feeling into it and writing it down um, and then there's who would you be without the thought? Um, you sort of ask yourself that question and see what arises as well. And then there's the turnaround part. And the, the example of the turnaround is like the possible opposites to that belief or, or thought, that statement. So the example they have on the, on the worksheet is he hurt me. 
And so the possible opposites would be I hurt him, I hurt me, he didn't hurt me, he helped me. And then you can contemplate on each of those, they call it the turnaround, the opposite statement, um, um, contemplate how each turnaround is true or truer in this situation. So that part's a little tricky. Um, I found it, I found that part to be a little tricky at first. You can just feel into that part, but just download this worksheet. You can print it, you can um, write on it. It's literally a worksheet. Um, and it's really helpful for working at beliefs and, and recognizing what do I believe about my experiences with myself, with other people, with my meditation, with my practice, with my awakening journey, with all of the things. Um, and you get a chance to see where is my identity. I think um, I wanna like take this worksheet and then add some stuff to it as far as like more looking into the identity piece because I think that would be really useful. Um, but yeah, I hope that's helpful and um, really like there's something so important about doing this type of work. So I hope that you take the invitation and really look at what do I believe? Because reality doesn't need our beliefs to move in the way that it moves. It doesn't need us to believe. It doesn't need us to have an identity. Reality works just fine without belief and identity. It's actually far more seamless than when it seems as an individual manipulating it based on beliefs and identity. So, Good luck to you. I hope you enjoy the practice. And I'll see you soon. Bye.